Hi guys, Dunks just got back from a Birmingham trip <laughs> and I haven't done a Friday video in a long time and he just got a lot of really delicious food um, on this Birmingham trip. So I thought I would do an impromptu video. Basically, we just got back from holiday yesterday and we were gone for um, a little over a week and a half in total. So we kind of eaten down all of our food before we left and I wasn't fussed on doing like big shopping. So we kind of came home to like no food. So yesterday on our way home, we did go to Waitrose really quickly just to get some fresh veg in the house. But like I said, Dunks just went to Birmingham and he hit three different places. So I'm actually gonna start backwards, the last place that he hit, and I'm gonna work my way forward only because this stuff needs to get into the refrigerator and the freezer really quickly. So I just wanted to film this now. So this is the last place he went to. And this is Purely Vegan Store, um, like I said, in Birmingham. And because it is Pizza Party Friday night, he picked up two pizzas. Normally I make my pizzas um, at home from scratch, but I am more than happy to try this, especially since I'm all out of yeast, so I can't make any pizza until we go and get some more yeast, because I use fresh yeast. Um, and I used up my last cube because what I do is I buy fresh yeast and then I like to chop it up into single serving size cubes and put them in the freezer. Um, and I used up my last one before we left. So he's got this One Planet Pizza Exotic Fungi Feast. And these are made in England. Um, and it's a small company, I believe, that just kind of deliver to, um, you know, small kind of businesses. And then this one is Mediterranean Roasted Vegetable. So I'm really, really excited for those. But I've got a couple other things that I'm really excited for as well. Um, so kimchi, we have no kimchi or any other fermented stuff in the house right now because we've eaten all of that and I didn't want to start any before I left because like kimchi, you need to, as it ferments, you need to keep kind of pushing it down. So he's got some kimchi store-bought and some chipotle sauerkraut. I've had this before and it's absolutely delicious. Um, love it. And like I said, we've got no sauerkraut in the house right now either. Um, same difference, um, we've eaten it up. That's my sauerkraut pot over there. Um, and I didn't wanna start a new one because I have to top up the water seal on it to keep it nice and fresh. Um, he's also got this lemon and ginger raw slaw. That sounds really good. Never had that before. Lots of things we've never had before. Uh, these are just for Riley. She likes um, well canned peas and corn. And this is just something easy that I can kind of feed her very quickly. So he's got a couple of the corn and a thing of peas. Um, a thing of young jackfruit. And this I just cook in the slow cooker with some barbecue sauce and I make pulled jackfruit. And then this is something new that we've never had. Young green jackfruit confit, confit, confit. Neither of us know what to do with this, but it's supposed to be like a mock duck confit, confit. I don't know. Have you ever had duck confit or confit? No. Yeah. No, we've had confit or confit somewhere at a restaurant sometime. I've not. From something. Oh, I have. Okay. I can't remember what it was. Do you mean a vegan version or a real version? Like a real version, yeah. But like a fruit, like a berry confit or something. Oh, okay. I don't know if this is meant to be the same. Neither neither of us know what this is, but we'll find out if it tastes good. Um, if you guys know what it's meant to be, let me know. Because we're not exactly cultured in that way. Um, yeah, but uh, vegan version. I think he just wanted to try it because it was jackfruit and he wanted to see how it was because he likes jackfruit. Um, a couple of cookies from the Little Vegan Cookie Co. Um, not sure if that's like a pecan one. I don't know what kind that is. What does it say? Aha. Uh -huh. Cinnamon and Sultana Snickerdoodle. Mmm. And this one, Salted Caramel and Pecan Cookie. That sounds delicious. Basically, my birthday was last week when we went, when we went to Spain. It was actually the day we traveled to Spain. But I feel like my birthday's today, even though my actual birthday was amazing. But this is this is ending up to be a pretty good day as well. <laughs> um, some Dove's Farm Organic Fruity Oat Biscuits. We've been getting the Dove's Farm um, Digestive Biscuits, and they're really good. 
Um, so these sound really good as well. We've never had these, but I'm looking forward to them because I really like their digestives. But this is the piece de resistance. It says one pound. It's meant to be one pound each because this was the box they had on display. But knowing my husband, he bought the whole box, <laughs> not just a pound a piece. Yeah. But he got a special price. He asked how much for the box, I'm assuming. Well, I said, is it a pound for the box or a pound per item? And he was like, oh, it's a pound per item. Because they're normally like two or three pound each, aren't they? So I said, uh, and he was like, uh, I went two pound. He went for the whole box, went. He went, okay. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> this is what's inside the box. These are um, vegan cakery. Um, these are their cream filled donuts and some horns. And is this a cream or an apple or? I don't know. But it needs Some kind of turnover -y thing. They're still soft. So I'm, I'm looking forward to those, like I said. Um, I'm going to put this stuff in the freezer, then we're going to move on to the next door. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, but I lost my filming spot to a baby that wanted to eat because Dunks just came home with a bunch of fruit. And fruit is like her favorite food because all kids and babies love fruit, right? So the next shop that Duncan went to was, oh. do we know what the Asian store is called? Is it just called Korean Foods or something like that? Seoul Plaza. Oh, Seoul Plaza. Yeah. It's Korean time. So he just went to the Korean store and he got two um, Napa cabbages so I can make some homemade kimchi. But the reason he still bought some already made kimchi is because we can't wait. it takes, yeah, it takes about like a week before it really starts getting like a nice flavor. You can eat it right away, mm -hmm. but for it to be fermented and to start get that nice like sour kind of flavor that we like it takes like at least a week um and dunks loves kimchi and he's not had kimchi now for it's been like a couple weeks since we've had kimchi in the house I'm dying. um <laughs> so he needs his kimchi hit um so the next thing is some vegetable dumplings from the brand pumuon Oh, yeah, these are my favorite ones. They are absolutely delicious. Um, where do we got the ingredients? They've got pretty good ingredients as well. Nothing bad in there. No. Really good stuff. No, these are good ingredients in this brand. No, I'm yeah, this is a good brand. Um, so we've got two bags of those just because um, mm. he only goes to Birmingham like every like third or fourth week in the summer it's probably every second or third week actually because every two or three weeks fruit goes off faster in the summer but in the winter he goes every third or fourth week um dumpling pastry he got a few things of this because i am going to attempt to make my own dumplings at some point at some point right um he got some tofu because i haven't had any time to make homemade tofu in a while so this is the same brand that makes the dumplings, um, and it's organic. Um, this is just some prepared tofu, um, just because I like to eat it. <laughs> so he always brings me home one or two of these, because um, these need to be eaten like right away, since they're already prepared. And then he got two more cans of young jackfruit. Um, it's the same pretty much as what he bought from the Purely Vegan store, just a different brand. but. Um, yeah, he got two more cans of this because actually if it's different. he went here first before he went to Purely Vegan store. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this was the next store's <laughs> um, little haulage. So that's all our Korean bits. Oh, and he got a really big bag of rice that I'm assuming he brought straight to the garage because it's a... It's in the car seat. In the car. Oh, okay, it's in the car seat in the car, but it's just a big old bag of white rice. 10 kilos, I think it weighs about as much as move, so it's 10 kilos. 10 kilos is um, about 22 pounds. So it's a big bag of rice, but we get through that, um, I don't know, maybe in a couple months, because it depends on how much we're eating rice, because we go through phases of eating more or less, but we do get through it. Um, yeah, so that was the second part of the haul, and the third part of the haul I will have to cut off again and do in a bit because it's mostly still in the car and we'll probably set it up in the garage and in the house before I can do it. Right, so I'm actually gonna just do this before we start putting some bits away. Um, so he's got two trays of raspberries and these each have eight in them. Uh, Riley's already been eating a tray. Um, and these were only, did you say these were 20p each? 
or 30p for the raspberries 30 p each he got mm. one tray or no how many trays of blackberries did you get four four trays of blackberries because these were only 20p each and each tray has 12 in them and then he got how many trays of strawberries three three trays of strawberries these are in eights and these were only 50p each and these taste Pretty good. I'll say nearly as good as his garden strawberries because it'll hurt his feelings if I say they're as good as his garden strawberries. Actually, nearly good is probably true because Riley, whenever she has his garden grown strawberries, she plows through them. She only had one, one and yeah, one. she'll only oh. eat little bits of like strawberries when they're not garden grown. And we did just give her this and she only ate half. So <laughs> Riley would agree that they're not as good as the garden grown ones. A really, really big watermelon grown in Turkey, I think. Turkey. And I think, Emily, you'll have to let me know if you're watching this. We're hoping that that's the webbing that you were saying means that it's been pollinated. Regardless, it also has a really good field spot. It's got a pretty golden color. Yeah. It actually looks more yellow on camera, but it looks more golden in real life. And it's got a dried off piggy tail, which means it actually sat and ripened. Sounds hollow. Because you don't want this to be too ripe. It's hollow sounding and heavy for its weight. 13. I mean, heavy weight, heavy for its size. 13 kilograms. 13 kilos. All right, so I've come to the car. Here are the rest of the blackberries. We've got a box of sweet potatoes. Oh, wait, we've got three boxes of sweet potatoes. Somebody really wants to eat sweet potatoes. Oh, and we've got a very messy garage. Just boxes. <laughs> Uh, rest of the strawberries. Um, we got two boxes of cherries. One's actually already in the house, but I think I forgot to film it. Um, that is the rest of the pineapples. Three oranges. Uh, three boxes of oranges, because there's one in the back seat, which what? you guys will get to. Oh, Dunks just brought it in the garage. Ooh, a box of papaya. Thank you. Yeah, I need eating. I like papaya. Me and Riley both like papaya. Um, what do we got? One, two, three boxes of bananas? Four boxes of bananas. These, there's three of these boxes, but they're small. They've got bags. Ah, oh, I gotcha. They were five pound each. I think a lot of you guys out there will be looking at that going, that's not a small box of bananas, but <laughs> it's smaller than a normal box of bananas. Yeah, this is a normal box. This <laughs> yeah. is slightly cut down. So yeah, three, they... Three of those at five pound, be. and one that was 15 pounds. <sighs> he must have bought them because oh, he and there's a box of mangoes them. down on the floor in there. Oh, let's see if we can find the mangoes to show you. Uh, we got some baby toys. Ah, huh, mangoes. Mango. He's pulling them out. There's the rice. Oh, it's all... The sun is hitting the bag, so you can't see. But that's the bag of rice. Mangoes! Mangoes! Indian. And that's everything. That's everything. Ten pounds of those. That's everything. So, that is our food haulage for... A while and ironically even though we went to waitrose yesterday and there's all of this or it's not really ironic but um even with all of that we'll probably still need to go to tesco soon to stock up on actual dinner bits penny bargains yeah and our we always like to go at the uh, seven o'clock markdown time so we can get stuff really really cheap so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little showing of what we spent our money on and that's it Show you the baby as I sign off. Because she's the cute one. Oh, that sunshine though. Where? Good.